Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me doing, uh, what am I doing? This is day 10 of the Leak Code Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's vlog. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to just spice in a quick um, video. Oh, today's a hard problem, huh? I'm going to spice. Why is it loading so slow? Am I like downloading some stuff? Um, I'm going to spice in a quick video of me in the gym just for fun. You can fast forward. Uh, it's just me. I don't know. It's just keeping myself accountable. I did a deadlift and then I just did some rock climbing stuff, bouldering to get ready for my Taiwan trip. Uh, so if you're from Taiwan or, or southern Japan, let me know and maybe we can get food or something. I don't know. I don't know. Please don't murder me. Anyway. But yeah, but I've been kind of training for that trip a little bit for some intense hiking. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, today's problem is 2009. Minimum number of operations to make array continuous. Okay. Uh, all right, this is a hard problem. Probably did this during the contest. This number is hope. Yeah, time price. Okay, so for example, okay. Uh, let me actually read the problem. You can place any elements in nums with any integer. Nums is con considered continuous if both of the following conditions are fulfilled or nums are unique. Or, el or element in numbers are unique. The differences between maximum element and minimum element in numbers is equal to num sub length minus one. Uh, okay. Oh, so you can replace it any time. So, for example, four, two, five, three is continuous, but numbers one, two, three, five, six is not continuous. Why not? Unique. Oh, it has to be exactly four over one. Okay. Uh, or four minus one, sorry. Wait, what? Oh, so that's 3, 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay. That's a very awkward problem. Okay, fine. Um, okay, this is already good. Change one operation. Well, I think in this problem, <coughs> let's see, right? Mm, <coughs> in this problem, uh, so they're really, um, hmm. I'm trying to play around with recurrence, but in this problem, it seems like, you know, you only change the extreme numbers, right? So maybe there's a sliding window. It's probably my first thought in that, you know, uh, let's say you sort them or whatever. It doesn't really matter, right? Um, or, you know, you sort them uh, and then here, then now, uh, basically, you have a sliding window of one element, the minimum element. Like if this is the min, then the max element has to be... The like let's say you know we we brute force what the minimum element is and then we could binary search or you could binary search you could do two pointers it doesn't really you know um, it should be the same idea but then you know you uh, and then every number that's outside of those two numbers we have to kind of uh, change into the smaller number right and by by the uh, the constraints of this problem is always possible because because yeah I mean. You, Mm, are the numbers that they give you unique? I guess the numbers that they give you are not unique. They, they, they don't say that it has to be unique. So there's a little bit of some trickery, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, but, or like, that's just an edge case we have to kind of consider, which is the uniqueness part, because they don't give it to you in unique. But otherwise, if they gave it to you in unique numbers, then it doesn't really matter. 
because every number that's inside would already be inside. And every number that's outside, it fits into the inside perfectly. If you do minimum element and a minimum element plus n minus one or something, right? So okay, so I think we're Gucci here. Let's um, <clears throat> yeah, let's do it with a sliding window uh, and then yeah. Uh, let me do that. So then here we start with. Uh, I'm always trying to think whether I should do which way to do slide. Uh, okay, let's slide with the left, right? So left is equal to zero, right is equal to zero, right? So while uh, left is less than n, and then now so while right plus one is less than n, n num sub right. Minus num sub left. <sighs> trying to be precise about the exactly off by one, but I guess they tell you this actually. So if this is greater than n minus one, no, no, no. If this is, mm, I think what I want to say is if this is less than n minus one, or actually less than strict, mm, is it? If it's equal to then. So okay, so this is the part where we have to try to define what the bounds are, right? Or what I mean by that is, is uh, left is going to be inclusive the way that I write it, but right is right inclusive or exclusive bound, right? Is it easier to be exclusive or inclusive? Uh, yeah, let's do inc exclusive. So then now with right, so right will be the big, the smallest number that is not inside the bound. Okay, fine. Right, so while this is true, um, so then now, if this is not out inside the bound, then the right element would be. Eh, off by one is so hard. If this is not in bounds, and if that means that this is in bounds, so then we oh well not like that but. Uh, then that means we increment by one. Okay, and then now here, um, so then on the left side of left, so we include left. So that means that there's going to be um, okay. So here we have best is equal to zero. We can do a couple of num ways, right? So he, we can also just minimum number of things that are inside. Oh, sorry, minimum of things that operations that you have to bring inside means maximum number of inside things, right? So we can do something like ooh, guess uh, max best. Um, I think just so yeah, so number of numbers inside is going to be right minus left because it's not inclusive. So this should be good. And then we just return best, I think, right? Oh, uh, well, we have to return n minus best because best is the numbers you don't change. Uh, so n, someone like that. Uh, maybe this is an infinite loop because I forget to increment by left. I miss like C style uh, for loops. Because I actually forget about this a lot. <laughs> uh, but C style for loops is, you know, much clearer. All right. Um, am I Gucci? Oh, no, 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 no. Because we did not count the duplicate case, right? That's what I say. Okay, see? So here uh, is a loop a bit annoying. And also, I messed up anyway, to be honest. Unless the. Uh, yeah, I messed up anyway. They gave, uh, actually this one is whatever, but I meant to sort this, but then I just forgot, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll be, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm sloppy. Okay, so we want to sort. But I actually don't, I think, um, I think we can actually cheat a little bit. So where n is equal to ling m, and then maybe, um, nums is equal to um a set of nums and then sort it right and then convert it back to a list then now m is equal to length of nums so then now we can do this is greater than m right uh i think this is fine and then i think mean, now this should be good okay let's give us submit hopefully i didn't make a silly mistake still possible but okay cool 1288 day streak I'm um, gonna write this time. What did I do wrong last time? Oh, I did a binary. I mean, I thought I was gonna do a binary search, but I probably just had an off by one to, uh, or uh, or something like this. What did I change? Oh, I I didn't do the duplicate number. See, last time I did it, and I, this is probably during the contest. I I didn't remember the duplicate numbers. And to be honest, today I almost 
Also almost forgot the duplicate numbers, but uh, luckily I remember at the ready end. So yeah. Um, anyway, that's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, I don't know, I'm just playing around with kind of editing and stuff like that. So give me feedback on that as well. Is it entertaining? Is it fun? Is it silly? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, that's all I have. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye. Also, I finally got that haircut. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye.